let's talk some politics. Uh, President Obama, have you heard of this guy? Uh, he basically announced this week that he's going to be doing even more executive orders. This is pretty much because congressional Republicans refuse to work with him or do anything for the government. So we have a statement from Dan Pfeiffer, who is Obama's senior advisor. Given this dynamic, and what he's talking about is how the Republicans refuse to work with President Obama, President Obama has only one option, to use every ounce of his authority to unilaterally improve economic security. Mm -hmm. Next week, as congressional Republicans spend their energy on yet another partisan investigation, we'll be picking up the pace on executive actions to help the economy. We have many more executive actions to come, and every day the President has charged us with looking for additional ways to expand opportunity. So uh, he's talking about the Benghazi hearings that the Republicans are going to do. Um, I I'm a little conflicted by this because on one hand, I think that the Republicans have been awful and they don't want to work with the guy and he's becoming a lame duck every day. He gets closer to, to leaving. On the other hand, I don't like one branch of government sort of superseding what its power is. Where do you fall on that? There's some great things that Obama's doing with some of his executive orders. He's created 11 national monuments. Nice. I really think that that's the kind of things he has to pepper in there. So he's like, listen, these aren't all just me being unilaterally overstepping my bounds. I'm doing what you're supposed to do. He's created more than, than almost three times as many national monuments as George W. Bush. So he did not know so that. So he's being very effective in doing things like making it so you can go see cactus in a, in a place that's protective and will never be never be taken apart. But I I, so I you're get okay it. with the executive actions in that. You know case. what? Like that's okay. At least something's happening, yeah. and it's fine. And it all comes down to like what is the d overall dynamic and you know if the republicans are as dedicated to stopping him from doing things as they say they are well then they'll kind of find a way to overrule his executive orders. Yeah, well, I don't think they can overrule the executive orders. Uh, but they counteract can... and pass something in order to get that to happen. But in the meantime, just go for it and do it. Yeah, do you agree, should he just do this because he sort of has no choice? Or is, that, mean, is that bad in the long run? <clears throat> well, or... the thing is, you know, these monuments that he's putting up, I, I must say that it's interesting how he's kind of playing into the American people with these monuments because he's kind of like, Look at this thing, and while you're all here, let me talk about carbon emission, because that's yeah. like what he's planning on doing. Right. So you know what? I mean, you're getting people's attention. You're like, look at this giant thing. It's shiny, and it's a monument that you love. And while you're here, I'm going to talk about serious issues and hopefully pepper that in. You know, so I got to give him credit for that. Um, I agree with you, though. I don't. I don't feel like I don't want to see this become some type of dictatorship, of course. But you know, I think. I think politics is kind of like this political whack-a-mole that happens, you know? It's like it, people don't do things, so he's taking executive orders, and then the next guy is going to come in and, you know, be able to overturn the things that he put in. So it, it, it's just going to happen. But at, that being so said... So it basically balances itself out so that nothing ever changes. Exactly. Pretty, yeah, and also, that being said, you know, Franklin Roosevelt, which who is considered by many one of the most popular presidents of all time, the amount of executive orders that he made, what Obama has done, that was like his afternoon tea time of executive <laughs> orders. So, you know. Right. I, so they do go crazy about, I'm glad you brought that up, because they go crazy constantly on Fox News about executive orders. Right. And you're right. He hasn't done as many, although he's, I don't think he's done even as many as George Je Bush, he, George he's W. About, Bush. He's about equal. But, you know, George Bush made some pretty hefty executive orders <laughs> happen. You know, that whole like stem cell research or presidential, you know, being able to hide things within the presidency, you know. Iraq, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, things like that, so. Um, so if this was a Republican right now, a Republican president who you really didn't like and the Democrats were stonewalling his whole thing, would you be more pissed about this, the president no. going ahead and doing it? No. no, not really. You're being intellectually honest. I'm being intellectually <laughs> honest. I don't, you know, when it, it, I'm one of those people who really gets up in arms when it comes to like running against each other. I like that more. I think I fall in line with most Americans when it comes to that. And, and uh, in terms of whack-a-mole, like, as soon as something big happens, then I'll say, like, that specific thing was terrible. Yeah. But I don't think the average person is, you know, and rightfully, because they have so much else to worry about, paying enough attention for this to really kind of come to the forefront of, of their daily lives. So I kind of fall into that. I have way too much Housewives to watch. <laughs> so speaking of that, how much, final thought on this, how much of this is just drama? 
it's just sort of this endless drama that they're replaying over and over, and nobody believes what they're saying, and they're just doubling down on party things and money and... I don't know, it's all drama, and there's always, like, one new move that people are using. You know, there's always, when, when you get to gridlock, you have to do something different, mm -hmm. and in this situation, the gridlock is happening, and so the president is trying to do something different yeah. to get around it. And just as when they were going head-to-head, -head trying to get things passed through Congress, People try different things. Like this is something he said. Well, I can actually do this, so I'm going to go yeah. forward and I, do it. I feel like the Republicans are kind of pouting on the playground right now, and he's like, "Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to go handle business." So yeah. you can't be mad. There you go. I like the accent that you gave him. There. Yeah, business. 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 Oh. business. <laughs>